turn your boring photo into an amazing color graded photo. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, make a copy of your photo, rename it as color grading. Then go to filter and open camera raw filter. Now here in camera raw filter, first thing we're gonna do here is to adjust light properties. Increase the exposure value, decrease the contrast. Also I decrease the highlights. Then increase the shadows at 20. Increase the whites to 6. Then decrease the blacks minus 5. Now let's make the color pop. For that increase the vibrance value. 15 is enough here. Scroll down here in effects properties. Decrease the clarity to make the image soft and dreamy. Scroll down and go to curve adjustment. Make one point in the shadows. Move the point downward. Make another point in the mid tone. Move it upward to add some light. Also add some fade to it. Around 5 is enough. Scroll down, go to color mixture. Now increase the luminance of orange to make the skin bright. Decrease the yellow's luminance. Go to saturation, then increase some yellows. Increase some greens. Again, go to luminance and decrease the green values as well as aqueous values. I also decrease the blue saturation here. Scroll it down, increase the sharpness a little bit. After that, open color grading panel. Now first, I add a highlights color. I choose cyan saturation 15. Then increase the luminous value here. Now I add a color in the shadow. I choose between yellow and green. Saturation 7. Then I decrease the luminance value to make it dark. Lastly, we also add a color in the mid-tone. I choose the color which can match the skin tone. Saturation 9. Then increase the luminance to 20. Now this looks good. Scroll down and open calibration panel. It's time to boost the color. Now increase the blue saturation and change the hue. Now you can see the difference here. Ok, let's work with mask now. Create a mask of subject. Our mask is created, then right click and invert the mask. Scroll down, go to lights. Now we adjust the contrast, exposure, highlight and black value. Scroll down, go to effects panel, then increase some clarity. Now go to curve, make a point in the middle and push it down to make the image a little dark. Ok then I create a mask of a background. Click on subtract, then I choose linear gradient. Now we subtract the area like this. And set the position as well. Now let's go to the light section. Increase the exposure. Also increase some highlights. Increase the shadows. Increase the contrast. And increase the whites. Ok, let's go to effects panel. Now decrease the texture and clarity to make it smooth and dreamy. 
also decrease the dehaze value to add some haze and dreamy glow. Now it looks perfect I think. Then again create background mask. Click on subtract, right click and choose gradient. Now this time we subtract the upper part from our mask selection. Hold shift to move in a straight line. Adjust the position of mask. Now it's time to make this part dark. So decrease the exposure value. Increase some contrast. Decrease the highlights. Decrease shadows. As well as decrease the whites. And decrease the black. Now let's go to the curve adjustment. Create a points in the shadow. Pull it down. Then make another point in the mid tone. Pull it down. Now go to create a mask and choose brush this time. Then we create a mask like this. Cause we add a vignette in this area only. Ok let's go to the lights panel and adjust the values as we do before. Now we create a subject mask. Then go to the light panel and increase the shadows. Increase the white. And also increase the exposure a little bit to make our subject pop. Let's go to the effects panel and decrease the clarity to minus 1 to make it smooth a little bit. Now go to curves panel and increase the lights. Also we adjust the skin color so for this go to point color. Pick the skin color and adjust the saturation and the luminance value. Now this looks perfect. Ok, go to edits. In effects panel, decrease the clarity to minus 10 to make it more dreamy and soft. It looks beautiful now. All done, just click OK. Wait for few seconds. This looks amazing. Ok, let's see before and after. That's all guys, I hope you like this tutorial. If you want more tutorial like this or give your suggestion for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching, see you again.